Hello everyone, welcome on back to Alma, Missouri. So first things first, my plan is to get... Oh, I turned the lights on. To get the combine set up in the soybean field. It is supposed to rain around, I believe, noon, 1 o'clock. So I want to get this going right away. Because out of all the things that we have to do, harvesting is one of them and... It's the, you know, the one thing that has to be done before it rains. Honestly, most things probably shouldn't be done in the rain. But, yeah, we can get this set up. I already got the, com uh, the, the trailer here with the truck. I did see the dairy was out of milk. We don't have a lot on hand, though. So I think, uh... We'll bring some down to get it going again. But uh it won't it won't last very long. It's not gonna last very long at all. Even with the silage in there, the cows are not at the point where they're like reproducing. The health has gone up. It's possible, you know, another month or two we'll you know get up get all the way up to maximum, but we'll see. We'll see. So it, it's possible they were eating the hay for majority of the time in between you know, overnight, so. Ooh, this is actually a really good yielder. You never know with it being obviously a field that we had no control over at all. So we'll go to this John Deere. And we'll just do a quick trip down to get the, the milk dropped off. At least get the dairy going a little bit. The uh, grain mill is out as well. But we should have some barley going in eventually. I haven't decided yet. I may hold on to some barley for chickens. I think if we hold on to you know 5,000 liters, 6,000 liters, it should get us... You know, decent ways where we could possibly plant sorghum or something and get harvested and, you know, use that for food for now. That's my, my plan, at least. And actually, I did just remember we probably should think about uh, buying some bags of seed, too. Pretty sure we are basically all out. I'm not sure about liquid fertilizer. I'll take a, a look at that. Yeah, we had to buy some. I do I do remember that. That's probably all the bags that we have. Well, that's not going to last very long, but at least get it going for now. I'll head on back, I'll grab the trailer, we can buy a bunch of bags of lime. Uh, maybe, maybe eight? That, that's probably more than what we need. Alright, here we are, so I will just quickly check uh, how much lime we do have. Uh, six and a half thousand liters, not too bad, not too bad at all. And this is usually where I keep all of the other products. So we have about 2,200 uh, liters of li liquid fertilizer, which should last a good amount. Yeah, this is pretty full. But that's not a critical thing to buy, but it, if we got room on the trailer, we'll buy a thing of liquid fertilizer. But it's not going to be the, the priority item. But seeds, yeah, I think we are completely out. Alright, so I'm going to just park this here for now. I did get a notification saying the harvester was 80% full, so we probably should get the semi into that field there. 
and get the harvester emptied. Yeah, at some point, the worker, I'm sure, is going to get all confused with it, you know, having trees in the middle there. Oh, yeah, they're full. Which I'm sure then the worker will probably just, just do one side of it, and then eventually they'll probably do long strips again. So we'll have a, a decent amount we'll probably have to do ourselves. Yeah, the, the yield on this field is actually very, very good. Kind of impressed. That's like about 100% yield, right? I can look through here. It's a 72, so it has good pH and nitrogen. Dang, so what What am I going to gonna have to do outside of soil? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all 100% yield stuff. I can't complain. Our uh, environmental score actually went up after we started this harvest. That might be the first time I've ever had that happen where I buy a field, I harvest it, and it actually brings the environmental score up. Usually it does the opposite. It's usually it seems like everybody else doesn't take good care of their fields or something. Yeah, I think this field won't be too bad to do sugar beets in. It's hard to say. I, I would prefer a smaller field to do sugar beets in, honestly. Um, uh, number two is growing. I was going to say maybe field two. As currently growing and it has... that sorghum? Yes. Interesting. Ooh, that has sugar beets in it. Along with sorghum. Might be a little big big of a field if I just said the other one was a little big. Because the thing is, sugar bees go quite a ways. Um, how much is this? Yeah, we could buy that. We'll buy that. <laughs> Maybe we, you know, eventually regret it. but And that actually gets us sorghum. Which is good. We could potentially use that as, well, chicken food. Alright, so my plan is to get a bunch of lime, because we do need all a bunch of lime. So we'll do eight bags of this. Um, let's get two more. That'd be 20,000 liters, right? So then let's get another. Easily do six bags of seeds, and we should have enough room to do at least one thing of liquid fertilizer then. How are we doing for herbicide? Does that show in here? Do not see it. All right, it looks like we have 1,200 liters, which probably gets us easily a couple fields down. We only use probably a couple hundred per field. I think we should be good for a little bit. I'll get all of this loaded up and then I'll kind of see where we are at and just see if we you know, should buy, buy more or anything. Alright, so I think that's, that's pretty good. We could probably fit a little more on there, but I also realize it's probably already plenty heavy. Um, I do think, uh, I was going to consider doing this today, actually. Um, I think we need to start selling some of the ketchup, even if the price isn't at the top. Here's the thing, we have like 90-some pallets over there. And, well, we have almost, almost 40 pallets of popcorn. I think it's 1,000 liters per pizza, so like 14 pallets of that. And we get a bunch of apple juice, too. Yeah, there's... I I don't even know how many are there. Probably 12, I think. There is a limit, I'm pretty sure, on how many pallets you can have spawned. I'm pretty sure it's in, like, the... It's in the hundreds to two hundreds range. I've only ever hit it once. But I do think, just so we can start clearing some... We probably should just sell some, even if it's not the greatest price. 
you know, if we sell 20, it would be a huge, huge amount, really. Uh, I'm going to set this up. For the time being, I'll, I'll set it up in the grass field over here. I'll just park it. Actually, let's have the the case. Because I'll probably end up moving the trailer at some point. Because I, I can already tell you I'm going to want to move it somewhere into the field. Where it will be easier to get to. We do have uh, soil sampling too. We'll have to do a bunch of soil sampling for that new field. Then the one we just bought will have to be done and once that is harvested I'll have to check that one out too if it needs any fertilizer or um, herbicide or anything. We can get this going though and Get this field back up to where it needs to be. I might put corn into this. I'm not sure yet. Or honestly, the field that we're just harvesting now might make a lot of sense for corn. Not a huge field. We need enough for cornbread and... Yeah, that's about it. That's the, you know, the production I really want to do now. That will be the most be the easiest thing to do from this point on. The, uh, the pie has a lot of different ingredients in. Yeah, you, you can see they did one strip and then they must have, like, backed up and then started it here I mean it, they helped you know we, we gotta we gotta say positive things about the workers sometimes they did help us we wouldn't have you know over half the field done if it wasn't for them yeah I'll be interested to see what the soil is oh there's our new field right there I needed to walk over there and just look at it. I don't see any weeds. And, oh, I suppose we won't have, uh, like, nitrogen levels and stuff. I guess we'll just see what it is when it is. I don't see weeds, though. Oh, there's a little bit of, of uh, soybeans here. I'll check the map just to verify, but I don't see weeds. Just to verify it. Yeah, I don't see anything. So, we should be good then. Yeah, I think that'd be a good sized field for sugar beets. Might be a little small. It's smaller than what I thought it was. But, like I said, I don't think we need a lot. The corn is a lot easier to do. Because we need several other ingredients to do it as well. I'm sure we'll get a lot of, uh... You know, we'll still get a lot out of it. I do want to check on this. What are they doing? Five dollars to whoever can tell me what they were doing right there. I don't think anybody could. I think it was because uh, the way they turned, the direction they turned. That's my guess. So, 
we'll let them off here. Hopefully they can figure out their way. Good thing I checked on them. Could have uh, could have been doing that a lot longer, you know. They could have got hit by a train, you know. That would not have been good if they got hit by a train. I know the train tracks are not too far from there, though. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with time lapse for this. So uh, I'll talk to everyone uh, once the time lapse is done. Well, the harvest is just about done. We're on the final strip here, and then there is a little bit on the side there. We should be able to get this finished before any rain starts. I do want to look at the, the lime spreader, the worker, because I have not gotten any notifications saying they're, you know, out, which kind of worries me, because I figured they'd be out by now, right? Unless, they, you know, maybe they start backing up randomly again. You know, so sometimes we all do that, though. Oh, no, they're still going strong. I don't get this, man. I really... It still is bad. Wait, do I need the... Do I need the crop sensor for this? Yeah, because it's the pH is still bad. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I mean, it's possible I am doing something wrong right now, but... I'm going to bring this back over here, and I'm going to switch it with the John Deere. I know for a fact that John Deere has... It has a sensor on it. I don't think this one does, but I know that John Deere does. If it still is not putting enough down, I'm not 100% sure what to do. Because I've never had that happen. I don't think you need the crop sensor, though. It doesn't show anything's out of date possible this might be something that I'll have to be messed with by myself. Yeah, the pH is still bad. I have to be so doing something wrong. I, I have to be. It's okay here. But it did add some. I guess this shows the last harvest is not being too bad. But, I don't know. Still shows it's pretty bad in this, so I... I'll look into it. It seems a little weird to me, though. It shows the last data at of the pH being in a fairly good state though which it is not in a horrible state now but I'm not sure why it's not applying anything because even after one harvest it should apply it to whatever the max is 
It doesn't show the data is out of date or anything. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'll, uh... I'll probably do the soil map for this field. Also, I'll grab the sensor. I'll uh, do like one, just one check in that field. Just in one spot. That way we don't waste too much money. It's like 100 or 200 bucks. And we can kind of just see if that does anything. That allows us to apply more. Is it out of date and just not telling us? I'm sure I'll figure it out or figure something out. Worst comes the worst. I'll... I don't know. Find a way to delete the lime out of the game and just... Take some money and... Max the... The pH out. I would prefer not to do that though. That is like a last last straw like I have no no other way to do anything with it there we go we'll check out the soybean thing 469,000 in there pretty nice we got any more soybeans coming up I don't think so no we might do do some more fields Now we'll go and grab the uh, the scout. I'll just do one thing out here just to see. Oh, we do have soybeans coming up right here. We planted this field and I completely forgot about it. I, for some reason, assumed it was harvested. Even though if it was harvested, we would be in there planting it this month. So I'm not sure, again, where I where I was going with my thought train there. I'll just do it in one spot, and then I'll just, you know, I kind of know where it'll be. I can just go over top of it and see if it is better in that one area. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just take one right here. It's going to look really weird, and eventually this data will become out of date. We'll have one spot that's not out of date. Okay, 50 bucks. It still shows the exact same way. Honestly, I just noticed it doesn't have the, the pH thing in the corner at all. Normally you can man manually adjust it, so. Yeah, there's definitely something fishy going on. I'll have to look into it and see if I can get something figured out. Maybe just, you know, deactivating and reactivating the model, square it away. Alright, so we can start getting the soil sample for this. Probably shouldn't take that many samples. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like it will. That was a nice little positive. So I'll go ahead and I'll probably do time lapse for this. We'll just do all the soil sampling in here. Shouldn't take too long and then we can kind of get the results back. See how it's looking. Hopefully it's all good, good loam, preferably. So I'll talk to everyone in a little bit. Alright, so 
this should be the last soil sample it looks like. Yeah, there's a little bit missed, but we'll call it good. We'll call it good. Shouldn't take too long and we should get the, the samples back. Like I said, I'm thinking it's probably going to be pretty good because it did look you know, look to be in a pretty good situation based off of the yield. I'll keep this out for now. Maybe I'll need it. I'm not sure. You, you never really know. Especially if I'm trying to test things. So it is basically all sandy loam. Which is pretty good stuff. I can't really complain too much. Can't complain too much. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. It shows it was a 97% for environmental bonus. I don't, uh, I don't know. It's possible that... For some reason or another, this little menu in the bottom is wrong? I doubt it, but maybe? Some of this actually isn't completely bad. Some, some of it is okay, where I'd probably do one more harvest out of it. I don't know. I'll have something... Something to at least talk about next time I guess whether I get it fixed or not I'll I'll make something work <laughs> I'll make something work it's possible I'll have to you know fin do some finagling and you know completely get rid of precision farming then maybe add it back in if I do that I'll try to think of a way to make things fair if I have to redo soil maps and stuff I'll have to re reimburse ourselves and try to get pH in a fairly decent area. We'll see. I'll try to I'll I'll, I'll do my best for that. Um hopefully it's just something simple though. That would be ideal. So anyways, that is everything for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.